Ogden Nash, America's serious poet of life verse, reads his poem. This is Ogden Nash reading, Oh, Please Don't Get Up. There is one form of life to which I unconditionally surrender, which is the feminine gender. Like lightning and thunder, women are awe-inspiring phenomena. And they have a custom which many men might well adopt, which is to gird themselves in devices that reduce or at least repress their abdomina. Also, I think there must be some great difference in the way men and women are built. Because women walk around all day wearing shoes that a man would break his neck the first step he took in them, because where a man's shoe has a heel, a woman's shoe has a stilt. So I often wonder who started this rumor about woman being the clinging vine and man the mighty oak or elm. And I have an idea that the phrase weaker sex was coined by some woman to disarm some man she was preparing to overwhelm. Because certainly a man shod like a woman would just have to sit down all day, and yet my land, women not only don't have to sit, but prefer to stand. Because their pleasure in standing up is exquisite, as everybody knows who has ever watched a woman pay a call or a visit. Because at first they will sit in a chair, and their heart may be in the highlands, but it certainly isn't there, and their conversation is unspontaneous, and their topics are trifling and miscellaneous. But finally, after an uncomfortable while, their faces brighten with a, well, I must be running along now, smile. And they get to their feet in the front door. And the old mother of water surges over the levee with a roar because the proportions of feminine social chit-chat are constant always. One part of sitting down in the sitting room to four parts standing up saying goodbye in foyers and hallways. Which is why I think that when it comes to physical prowess, why, a woman is a wow, or should I say, a wowist.